Guys, we need a new victory song. Last season we had Dora, but she retired, so we need something new. I need you guys to drop some recommendations down in the comment section below, and whatever's the most liked is gonna be what we're gonna be using for the rest of the year. So make sure it's a banger. And speaking of bangers, let's talk about today's performance. Putting up 36 points in a preseason game, like that's just unheard of. Our offense was unstoppable from start to finish and I love what I saw. And a big reason why the offense was so dominant today was because Cliff coached his butt off today. So I mean, shout out to him and the players, man. And let's actually talk about some of those players. Let's start off with the quarterbacks. Trace McSorley, 13 for 22, 163 yards and an impeccable touchdown rolling out to the left side, throwing across his body and throwing an absolute dot. Dot, 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 dot. That's literally the exact same thing that Jarrett did too. He was rolling the exact same way, threw across his body and guess what? Another dot. Two touchdowns right there. They both played fantastic today. And if Trace continues to play like this and produces the way he did not only in the passing game, but the rushing game as well, because he also did have four carries for 32 yards, I think we have Kyler Murray's future backup once Colt McCoy retires. Because from what I saw today, he's a baller. And I mean, I guess I should have known that because there's a song about him. The guy's just electric. Throw it on a dime like you ain't even trying. I'm your favorite quarterback. They call me Chase McSorley. And then when we look at the run game today, honestly, I wasn't super impressed. You can look at the amount of touchdowns we had and Jonathan Ward piled in for two of those. I will say on the touchdown aspect, Jonathan Ward, he had it. But when it comes to rushing, it's more than just touchdowns. And you can see by his average yards per carry, 2.5, that it's not great. Six carries for 15 yards. We're going to need better production. And then from Eno Benjamin, we didn't get much better. Five carries for 14 yards. Like that's just, it's just not going to cut it. Keontae Ingram though, on the other hand, I mean, he played pretty solid for his first game ever. Seven carries for 27 yards. And he even had this touchdown right here. That's pretty solid for your first NFL game ever. But I'm not going to overreact to all this because again, it is just a preseason game and it is also the first time they played football in what, six months? So I'm not going to look super deep into this, although I do expect better next week. And then we go to receiver and we have the highly anticipated wide receiver battle between Andy Isabella and Greg Dortch. Both of these guys flashed heavy tonight. Andy Isabella had four receptions for 57 yards and he was making catch after catch. I will say he is under a ton of pressure this season and he absolutely performed in week one. Overall, really good game from Andy Isabella and you can honestly say the same thing about our guy Greg Dortch. Four receptions for 53 yards and he also had an insane punt return I believe for 55 yards. When was the last time we actually had a solid returner? I know it was just one play, but when was the last time? Like 2012 when Patrick Peterson was returning kicks and punts? If Greg Dortch can be that guy, he's most likely gonna make the roster over Andy Isabella because if you're able to contribute on special teams and be a solid receiver, you already have the one up. Being a good player in two aspects of the game is better than one, obviously. But regardless of what we saw today, and I mean, we saw a lot of good things. Greg Dortch's catch as well. I forgot to mention this. This was disgusting. It is still just one game, like we said, and we're still going to have to see how this progresses. It's still way too early to predict who's going to make the team. But if I had to say right now, I'm probably going to pick Greg Dortch. And that's just how it is. Let's see if that changes for these upcoming games. And then we move to the defensive side of the ball. And before I talk about some of the negatives, I want to bring a positive to this. Can we talk about Victor DiMichigi? Two sacks and a forced fumble as well. He was screaming off the edge all night long. And oh my goodness, did he show some flashes. With the way our edge depth looks this season, we desperately need someone to break out. And Victor DiMichigi did that tonight. If he can keep this up, he has a legit chance to start for us. And I'm not even just saying that. Marcus Golden is basically solidified in our starting lineup right now, but on the other side, it could go anywhere. By Jay Sanders, Dennis Gardick, and Victor Dimakiji is showing himself. He's showing he has the potential to take that spot, so I mean, let's see how this plays out. I'm looking at another level, I need to discuss some negatives on this defense, and Zayvon Collins and Marco Wilson let me down heavy tonight. Honestly, Marco looked lost half the time he was out there, and Zayvon, he was just there. For someone you're expecting to be your starting Mike linebacker heading into the season, finishing with an assisted tackle, just an assisted tackle in a preseason game. That's kind of unacceptable. Unacceptable! For a former first round pick taken at pick 16, we need more out of you. And although I never liked the pick from the start, I mean, I do expect him to be better. 
I don't know if that's going to come with more reps or what, but I mean, we need to keep him on the field because heading to the regular season, he can't be playing like this. It's as simple as that. But hopefully the Cardinals have been made aware if they weren't already that we desperately need help on defense. Whether that's corner, D-line, we need something. Rocking with this defensive unit is just not going to cut it. We're semi-close to where we need to be, but we still need pieces. Whether that's Joe Hayden, Adamican Sue, Roquan Smith. Just bring in somebody, please. And then going to the Bengals side of things, I do need to discuss how their kicker, Evan McPherson, is the GOAT. The GOAT! He hit a 58-yard field goal, and I'm pretty sure he also hit a 56-yarder as well, if I'm not mistaken. Like, this guy legit has a cannon leg. Bengals fans, y'all are lucky you got this dude. And I don't know what it was, but for some reason, Matt Prater was struggling tonight. I believe he missed two extra points, if I'm not mistaken. Like, that normally doesn't happen, especially for Matt Prater. I don't expect that to continue in the regular season, but that is definitely something to monitor. But regardless, I love what I saw overall, and I can't wait for the next game. We play Baltimore, and they're on like a 20-something winning streak in the preseason. That's just wild, but hey, let's see if we could snap it. With that being said, that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video. Let me know down in the comment section below some of the things you guys saw from today's game. I want to hear the positives, the negatives. I want to hear everything. And also, if you guys are new to the channel and ended up enjoying today's video, consider hitting that subscribe button. I post NFL and Arizona Cardinals content, so if you're a fan of those, this is the perfect channel for you. And also, if you guys are looking to go to an NFL game or just any ticketed event in general, make sure to download SeatGeek and save $20 off using code MYTHICAZ. With three weeks until the regular season starting, I mean, I'm assuming some of y'all are going to games, and if you want to save some money, which, let's be honest, we all do, make sure to download SeatGeek and save yourself $20 by using code MYTHICAZ. And yeah, with that being said, that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video. Also, do not forget to let me know what song you want to hear every time we win. That's going to be a very important part of every video because, you know, we're going undefeated. So we're going to be playing that 17 times this year, right, guys? Probably not. But still leave that comment anyways because, you know, I'm just praying we get to hear it. And hopefully we can hear it when we're hoisting the Lombardi Trophy here in Arizona. What am I even doing, man? I'm just getting my hopes up. I'm out. Hello.